down the hill to get his little minivan and uh, get it up the mountain because he was scared that uh, some of them rascals were gonna come steal some of his car parts off his vehicle. But now we're, uh, we're going back up to Yeti land to have a, a real good time. So thank you, Mr. Denham. Allow me to borrow this stud of a machine, Dodge Ram. Ugh. <laughs> What's up guys? It is Wednesday before the tournament. I'm doing a triples match with Eric and James for their channel today. Got a practice round in yesterday and we are just parked at the course, staying here. It's really nice to do that. It makes it easy, just roll out of bed and uh, start your day and be right on the course. Like I said, got the triples match. I'll link that in the description if it is out by the time I upload this. I got one practice round more tomorrow before starting the tournament. Really looking forward to this. I really like the chorus. I feel like it plays extremely well for my game. Ever since Jonesboro, I've had this, this hunger to go out and play. So uh, I'm really excited for the tournament to start. So today at Swenson on hole nine, I threw a few sh shots and there was a fox in the fairway, and then the last that I th shot I threw, <laughs> the fox looks at me, and then he looks over at the disc that just landed probably like 30 feet away from him. He runs over and grabs it and then runs away with it. And I'm like f freaking out, running at the fox, and the fox vanishes into like this these high thistles, like rough area. <laughs> and I like don't know what to do because I think the disc's gone. Luckily, he I see the fox again and he dropped it so I got the disc back but it was covered in pee similar to what happened to Nate Sexton but unfortunately instead of going to ace with it I lose that disc on hole 15 and it, it really smelled I had it in my bag even after wiping it off dunking in water it had just a very you know what smell I lost three other discs. Hopefully some of them come back. Uh, Razor Claw, Mutant, the FD3, the, the Doom Bird I threw, and another FD3. I lost both FD3s in my bag today, and I liked those FD3s too. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm feeling really good about the course. I played a good practice round today, even though I fell in the water trying to get <laughs> discs. It was an eventful practice round. 
let's just say that. But other than that, this is a very good course and I'm enjoying the whole vibe out here. Other than falling in the water and having animals pee on my disc. Day one, here we go. Round one, OTV. Thank you, Ratana, for getting footage and walking with me. But man, that round stank. I had a good little rally, but I got off to just a really bad start and I was just very frustrated on how the round went down. I knew that I needed to be on a different pace to kind of set myself up and I got to like an okay score. Then I had a kind of disappointing last two holes, but I can still claw my way back. Just uh, gotta hope for a better start. down again this tournament has been unfortunately a letdown you kind of saw my energy and excitement towards this event to start like I was really excited to come out here and uh, kick some butt but for some reason there just feels like there's a, a mental block out there for whatever reason don't know what it is it's interesting because I've had tournaments where I've prepared very poorly for and I've done really well. I've had tournaments I've done prepared very poorly and done terrible. Had tournaments where I prepared great and done great. Tournaments I've prepared great and done bad. And unfortunately so far this one falls in this that category. Just need to have a good round today to have some what of a good feeling going into next week at the BSF. Uh, yeah. Definitely a little bit of a letdown. I uh, don't know what it is. Putting has been a little bit tough outside the circle. I haven't made a single outside the circle putt, which can be a problem when you're trying to gain momentum, but it's just a part of disc golf. I felt like my preparation and everything was really good for this event. And sometimes it just doesn't work and 
You gotta be okay with that. everyone quick little wrap up i'm in portland oregon now to wrap up the otv open it was pretty pretty sad i can probably say it was my <laughs> worst tournament ever because i've never not cashed on tour that wasn't great i mean i didn't cash playing this like little flex start c tier uh in 2017 but uh, that was a, I almost don't count that one, but it, it obviously it does count. But this one is the first, this is the first time I never cashed at an elite series or uh, NT or anything of that sort. So it's a good wake up call. There's some lessons to be learned. I was definitely a little hasty. I kind of, I was eyes on the prize too early. I didn't let the game come to me. I kind of forced it. I had good preparation. I had a really good week off the course. Um, and sometimes, you know, good preparation doesn't work immediately. You gotta be okay with that and you gotta move forward. Thank you all for your support. It was great meeting you out there. We had an amazing card on day two that had over 100 people watching and then we signed autographs for a long time afterwards so shout out to you guys shout out to showing your support through thick and thin and yes thank you for watching and until next time keep on dreaming and peace <laughs>